Uh, morning guys, welcome back to another video about life of a boxster. And today I'm pissed off, fed up, down, and generally gutted. Yesterday was an extremely, extremely stressful day. And the end result was I curbed one of the wheels. Yeah, the wheels I had refurbed about two weeks ago, so yeah, not very happy at the moment. Um, another 115 quid to get that refurbed again. But the reason I'm doing the video um, is because that's not really the whole story. I've been aware of the fact for quite some time that um, A, obviously they're low profiles which means the rim's very close to the ground and to the curves but the other thing with it to be perfectly honest and I've always been aware of this is that with most wheel and tyre combinations the tyre actually sticks out wider than the rim um, and gives the rim a bit of protection uh, with mine, they don't, um, but uh, what I might do is look into the possibility of putting slightly wider tyres on the car. I have read on the internet about people having problems um, with the front tyres touching the wheel arch liners when the car's on full lock, and it is pretty close. Um, so yeah it's going to be some sort of some experiment you know, on just how wide you can go with the tires and whether they're going to touch or not and on the back uh, i've noticed that on the inside the back tires are very close to the handbrake cable so it's the same thing again and it's whether you can get what size tires you can get i'm thinking of going up so sort of 10 mil on the tire size um, and obviously Obviously that's going to be kind of a trial and error thing, so I don't want to be putting brand new tyres on and then find out I've got to take them off again because they're rubbing the handbrake cables and wheel arch liners. But anyway, when I get back, we'll look at it in more detail with you. Okay guys, right, we're back now. So. Um, We'll take a closer look at the problem with the with the wheels now. Before I start, I'll just show you. I'll do. Let's put that there. Ah, you can see I've got both my phones running because I want to try and make this. Just bring that down a little bit. We'll try and make this a good video for you. Um, my video skills aren't brilliant, and kind of the idea is this one is to do the B footage, and this one, this one here is to do the main footage. Now, I know technically you should show, you should uh, film the B footage afterwards, I think, or maybe before. But anyway, I can never remember what sort of B footage to get to make the best video. And also, when I'm doing the sort of the main video, I tend to forget things that probably are quite crucial to be in it. So I'm going to try and film the two at the same time for you. So. Um, don't know what that's going to work out like but the other option the other advantage with it is in the editing software i can um sync the two videos uh by audio and then hopefully just cut the shots as i want them so start off with let's have a look at the offending problem she's down here i'll get down here i'm trying to turn the wrong camera around now so get my finger out of the way now, you probably can't see that in the other shot at the moment. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just zoom in there, try and get it in. I should imagine, there we go, I probably should have this camera on, on macro settings or something, but that hopefully, kind of, if I move that around a bit, shows you the damage. But 
So it's not, do you know what I mean? It's not like in your face and and horrific. But as I said earlier, the, you know, the point is I wanted the wheels to be. Let's move you out a little bit and get out of my face a bit, eh? Um, I wanted the wheels to be perfect, obviously. So the problem that we've got, if I show you the front wheels, if I come down here, you can see, I don't know if, no, if that kind of shows that, but the tyre actually sits, there we go, quite well, sorry, quite well inside the rim itself, which is why the rims tend to catch the kerb so much. And again, if I come around here and show you the show you the rear end, put you up there for a minute. Don't go away. If I kind of show you the rear end, uh, very awkward to get the line there. But again, the rim sits quite wide out to the tyres. It kind of reminds me of those um, styles they have where they have the really, really wide rims and the really like skinny tyres. There was one at the Porsche, the Porsche meet um, the other night that had the wheels like it, quite unusual. So, obviously, um, the easiest way round it is going to be to put sort of wider tyres on the rims. But that uh, has got its drawbacks itself. On the internet, I have um, read stories, and I've had people contact me and ask me about, do I have problems with the tyres touching the, the wheel arch liners when you turn the steering? Now, we're going to start with the front because uh, it's easier to see what the problem is, the back's difficult to get at. Um, at the moment we've got two, three, five, thirty-five, nineteen tyres on the car. Um, and as I showed you earlier, the tyre kind of is much narrower than the, than the rim. Um, the problem with going wider is that, um, if I get a closer shot in here, you can see I can barely get my fingers through that gap there. And that is the problem. If you put wider tyres on, chances that might touch. Um, probably got about a centimetre gap. So if we went uh, up, say, 10 mil on the tyres, and we went up to uh, 245, might get away with it. Uh, the other thing we can do, of course, is we could cut out uh, let me get the camera shot there. You can cut out a panel here from the liner and actually step, kind of step it back to give you a bit more space under here. Um, if you wanted to, you could mould some uh, louvers into it. You know, make it look sort of more performance orientated, more aggressive. Um, in keeping with the general style that I've gone for with the car, but um, you know you don't have to. It's just something you could do if you wanted to take it to that next level. Um, that really covers the front. So what we're going to do now is we'll move on and we'll have a look at the backs and show you the problem we got with the backs. So the back's going to be a little more tricky to get to show you, but. Uh, I'll see if I can get underneath with the phone and we'll have a go. Okay, can I get underneath the car? Alright, now, I originally saw this when we were working on it from underneath. Um, when we were doing a gearbox and read the gearbox out, I realised how close they were. And I don't know whether I can get, let's try this side there and get some light in there if we can see it don't think you can that's the handbrake cable in the middle but unfortunately the angle of the camera doesn't really show you how close it is to the wheel let's try and reposition my hand and the camera can't get any any view really to show you that at all. But there is about a centimetre between the handbrake cable 
and the inner edge of the wheel. I'll just go around the other side and um, see if we can get the camera under there from that side for you. From this side and get a view of the handbrake cable. If I can get the phone to focus. Um, no, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't get that. Um, that's a shame. But uh, what have I got hanging in my hair now? I'll just turn this phone off. I'll try to. So um, yeah, I can't. I can't get underneath there with the camera to really get a view of that. But basically, the handbrake cable. It's about a centimetre. You could just get your fingers, your fingers through it between the tyre and the and there. So yeah, you know. Probably back's not going to be too much of a problem. Sorry I couldn't show you a, a better view of the, the back, but I think we've pro pretty much covered the pros and cons of trying to put wider tyres on it to protect the rims. Um, it's not like a major thing that's got to be done straight away. It's just uh, an idea that might help in the future. And of course, first of all, uh, I've got to track down some second-hand tyres that are reasonably cheap in the sizes I want so that I can experiment with it. Um, so if any of you guys happen to know where we can get second-hand tyres in various sizes, please let me know in the comments box and uh, I'll be very grateful. Or if you've ex had experiences with running wider tyres, um, also let me know. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. I uh, hope you found it enjoyable. Please click the like button if you did. Please subscribe. And of course, click on the bell so that you get notifications of our follow-up videos and all our content. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.